I see how we alone Look how hard we try, nobody here we cry Them no care for you, you will be alone Been through the storm, when the rain is on We saw no one We alone, yeah We alone, we alone <laughs> Hey yo Well I haven't got to know the music I have before So, back! Yeah, yeah Look on here, sir. It's like a couple of days I've been stressing both for me and all the way. I kind of got for the depression, but I kind of have it under control. You know, but anyway, we're there, do some work. For the last video, I want to see, I probably went time the whole area on us to tear down uh, something, something, something. But the her upgrade kind of go on already, isn't it? Uh, Archer. Yes, sir. I respect. Come on, let's see the cabin. So, I remember from yes, we tear down and sin. So, plumber come in and mats up in work. Get to put up about this. Well, Mike put up about this. And so, you know, and we there. See him when I see him settings from the last time as well. Remember? I don't probably remember. You understand? And we there. See? So, if it's today now, we are going to put in some floors. Anyway, it's in my room. I think mm -hmm. I'll put on this in. There. So, oh. Oh. kitchen on. So, see ya. That's a complete. Yeah. Complete bars, Japanese baseboard, and everything. So, we get the floor done. We get the floor done in a so this one. This this room and in a whole heap of, whole heap of work. Like, no, I'm gonna say, no whole heap of problem. Nah, no, no, no. So, now we start to good bars, Japanese base, baseboard. Them. Yeah, okay, nice and Gucci. So. Problem was, you don't know if I'm this or when I drop in, you have to work with the same settings in a this side. So, you end up that's with there and put in the whole of this floor, and you end up that's we have to take out back everything and start again. But we end up we get a line up with that the one, the boss of Japan, the rest of baseball. The mess up, why smaller piece name? Uh, same baseball arrow. Baseboard trim. Baseboard trim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, that I didn't want to. I must know a smaller one. Alright, yeah? Wanna hear that? Corner bead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's still have another side of the car. Side of the Japan. So, meanwhile, I'm going to shut, it, shut up them. You know? So, we have a whole lot of stuff to do. You know, so. And then. Over this, uh. and everything I do is kill, sir. Uh, no matter, sir. Uh, you right? You set the 45 every angle square. Good catch your angle, him. Yeah, man. No, on the bus already? No, bus already. Alright, catch. Put on the glasses. Yes, I'm wearing the glasses. <laughs> now, when I want the cup tea, so it's kind of dangerous. Yeah. Try that at home. <laughs> this really good angle. Yeah. Good to go. Good to go. See that. So we have this room of paint and floor. And then don't know remember. In here so I can see him speed too. That done. So I have to paint back this again. I kind of have to curse something for the inner sub, but I'm not sure I did. But you understand? So, the answer is seeing speed. With this, I know we end up reached. Yes, sir. I have to pull back, go back over this again because it ain't a line up with this apart. Yeah. But so far, we kind of Gucci. You know? So, we just I go finish up. Well, may I finish up, yes, sir. And then. We probably baseboard it today. Or 
you know, no, but you want to finish that so too. You get, you dig. Man, so that I go on for today. I look a bit, so so I update. So call this a one side almost complete, and then mingle finish paint. Oh, we still have liquor sealing work for the two. I can't see it, but so this is how for main job too. Job man, a job too, almost. But yes, sir. Okay. Lose no finger down and say that. Make certain set. You understand? You measure two times and put one time. So, go a little piece, a little piece, them dangerous. See, them problem there. Yeah, they're so smart. Yeah, yeah. And I match as me, match as I'm a work hard. <laughs> Gucci. Mm -hmm. Now, if you understand them angle there too, you know, because catch them wrong, they have to go come cut again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I'll go on. You know? Just like that. It could be long, but you know, fix that. Better longer than. Then sharks, we can always adjust it. Uh -huh. Look what I want to tighten and I want to cut with it. It's a nice little fish. So you probably always catch some, majority of people catch me enough too. Like you cut this aside, yes, sir. And if you cut yes, sir, you always end up cut this, this aside, like this aside. Yeah. And you end up having to cut one different piece again. You know? Double corner. But that I go on. With my dirty foot them. <laughs> watch it, watch wow, it. You. That's what you see? You, I know you knowing you you want me to walk right into it. So you're all down here done paint out. Holy progress! The progress for me. Ah! Wow, oh my God! Did it go on my? It went on my shirt. It didn't go on my shirt. <laughs> like how it went in your head. You say you're wicked. Okay. What now? Watch him. Act like he doesn't like to work. You know, watch him. You proud of your work? You are proud of your work? <laughs> Saying you can do your own home. You can do your own home in Jamaica. Like guys, imagine this type of tile. Well, even tile, but flooring in a house in Jamaica. You don't really see stuff like this. This will look so nice. Um, I think we're gonna bring the one from the garage. Cause it actually has a like, cupboard space. It's like literally the. It's not that big. Can okay, measure it though. Oh, because the toilet bowl already has its placement? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't even think about that. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. You said you feel good. <laughs> then if you can do something, it almost feels good in yourself. Of course. That's, right. That's how I feel when I'm at work when I do something and I'm like, yeah, Nisha, big up yourself. It's like an accomplishment, you know? Hey, manifest that. Manifest it. It looks good. I'm coming. 
so guys it's been a long time one since i picked up a camera and two since i've done like one of these sit down talk type of videos um a few of you guys reached out to me and was asking me for advice on um like for new grads so i said you know what uh, this is long overdue and i might as well just share like whatever i can share with you guys um i'll I mean i'll share as much as i can i don't really know what to say to be honest uh, most of you guys know I graduated. So most, for most of you guys, you guys already know that I did my nursing. I am an RPN. Um, going for my RN actually it took me a long time. I debated for a very long time if I wanted to go for it. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, it, why not? For the, like, the stuff that I'm doing now as an RPN, um, certain roles that I've taken on even as an RPN, I'm just like, why not actually just go for my RN? Like, it just makes so much more sense. I would kind of debate it for a long time because I was just over the thought of being in school again. Like, I was just completely over it. Ugh. Yeah, so... Where do I begin? Where do I begin? I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so anyways, I graduated. Um, I graduated 2019. Or was it 2020? No, so I graduated my nursing program 2019. I think it was like November, December 2019. That's when I finished my consolidation. And then I wrote my license exam February 2020. I passed it on my first try. Um, shout out to you guys who have been reaching out to me actually asking for advice. Um, a couple of you guys reached out to me asking me how did I study for that exam. And you guys actually passed, so that's amazing to hear. I just want to also put it out there that if you do the exam and you fail... Do not give up, keep pushing through, keep going. Um, sometimes we overthink the questions. That's one of my thing is that I found with myself throughout the whole of nursing school is I really overanalyze any test questions. I thought too deep into it. Remember to always think as a RPN, remember, well, or RN, like whatever you, like your, your scope of practice. Remember to always think within your scope of practice and just don't overthink it. That's one thing that I really did. Um, another thing that I also did was I always chose the answer, erased it, and put another answer. So I always second guess myself. So don't do that. Do not second guess yourself. Um, so yeah, I graduated 2020 and then COVID happened. And then I was like, I, Nala was small at that time and it was just too much going on, too much trying to figure stuff out. So I was like, you know what, I'm not ready to go and work yet. So I took a while before I actually started applying for jobs. And at the same time, I was thinking, like, did I want to work within the hospital? Did I want to work in the community? Like, what did I want to do? I didn't know. I was so confused. And it's just like, when it comes to nursing, your options are so open. So it's not like I didn't have that much choice. I think I had too many options. Um, and then also, I feel like based on my clinical experience, I was based like some of my clinical experience was like blah so i feel like i was basing most of my choices or like my area areas that i wanted to work in based off of that but working as a student and then like a nurse it's kind of different because it depends what you do i feel like when you're a student you're doing more of like the, the sucky jobs like the changing your patient bathing them and all those stuff and i mean like as a nurse yes you do that but as a nursing student most of the nurses push you to do like the sucky stuff i'm not even gonna lie so based on my experience with that i kind of geared that toward okay no i don't want to do bedside or i don't want to do medicine i don't want to do this because this is what happened don't do that do not limit yourself as a new nurse you need to be open to what's out there do not limit yourself and that is something that i did there are so many uh, opportunities out there be open be open and apply to everything. I literally applied to so many different jobs. My first nursing job was immunization nurse. And at first I was like, oh, what is this? And the pay was not even good. But I told myself, I'm like, you know what? Um, you're a new nurse and you don't want to be too picky. And this is something to put on your resume. That was another thing too, why I took that job. The pay literally was $22 an hour. And I was like, I'm an RPN and I'm making $22 an hour. But I was like, you know what? I wanted the experience. And I wanted the exposure and I wanted something on my resume. So that's why I did it. And honestly, that job, I actually loved it. Even though the pay was garbage, I really loved it. It was fun. Um, I love, I like working with kids and with that specifically, that's what we were doing. So that was good. Um, and then I just, that was a short term contract. And then I think I applied for that job. That job posting, I must have applied like 
August or mid-August and then I got a call back like mid-September for like the interview and all that stuff mind you this was like a virtual interview and then they um we had to go in for orientation so I took that job and then because I knew it was a short term because it was a school immunization so if you live in Canada you I don't know if you remember in high school when the nurses would come into the school to do the immunization that's what basically we would do but because of COVID we were set up in community centers within the community and parents would bring their kids there so that was that only I believe happened like twice a year if the school was going on it's not something that's like continuous so I knew it was short term so I knew I had to have a backup plan so I applied for that, got that, but at the same time, I was still applying for other jobs and I applied for an assessment job at the, the hospital and um, I was applying for other job postings within the hospital, but this was the first one that got back to me and I was like, you know what, I'm going to accept it because it's a foot in the door, it's a foot in the door, if you know what I mean. So I was like, you know what, it's okay and I actually liked that job, it was, and it was fun and scary, but it was fun in a sense because I liked educating people. Um, I met a lot of people. I actually bumped into like some of my old high school people. I bumped into subscribers like it was weird But anyways, I took that again as an, another experience to add to my resume and a foot within the hospital It's not really easy getting into the hospital as a new grad. You're really lucky and fortunate if you do um, I know some people well like myself I know some people who actually like struggled to get into the hospital it took them a long time I know some people where it didn't take them a long time some people also, it was like who they know, it's like based on who you know. So keep in contact with your clinical instructors, um, some of your teachers, because they can be your best friends. They can put in a word for you, uh, especially if you're an outstanding student, they will do that. You'll be surprised. They will give you reference letters. Uh, a, lot of my, a lot of people I know worked within the hospital. Some of them tried to get me a job and it didn't work out, but I said that was fine. I still just went and applied on my own. Again, building my resume, trying to find courses out there to add to my resume. So for example, um, like you have your nephrology course that you can take. There is the cardiology t uh, course you can take. Those are two good courses to try to take to add to your resume, especially as a new grad. Um, highly recommend that you guys do that some people don't do it but I mean if you can't afford it do it just kind of a bonus look for like little certificates and courses you can add to your resume so like IV start there's there's courses for that um, blood transfusion I think there's a course for that one as well just any little certificates you can add add it to your resume some of the advice that I've gotten even now is to just be open and start off like medicine and surgery is always hiring always 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 there's always a shortage of nurses in medicine believe it or not and yes it's part of the reason is because of the burnout but i mean if you can go in there like we were telling me if you can go in there and just even do a year and then just branch off to something else at least you know you're gaining like experience doing a lot of different stuff um also nrt so like the nursing resource team a lot of different places call it some or like a float nurse that's basically what it is places call it different stuff but that is something that you can look into as well because if you're floating as a nurse you're going to different units you're still learning all your skills um that's actually something that i'm looking into because right now i'm still so confused on what I, like i know what i want to do i want to get into postpartum but if i cannot get into postpartum i'm looking into getting in either medicine or uh, NRT so like a float nurse just because you get to go in different areas and find what you like so those are some of my tips um, like I said I, I I'm not really new to nursing but at the same time applying job wise I am so so these are the tips that have been helping me so far and what I can share with you I don't have that much experience I actually reached out to some of my friends my work friends and I was telling them like I wanted to do a sit-down video with them because we're all we all have like different experience different years of being within nursing starting new units and i told them that i wanted to sit down with them and like share that experience with you guys because i feel like that would help you guys and um i think it would just be fun to do but yeah let me know down below if that's something that you guys would be interesting because my friends are all we're all coming from different backgrounds different years of nursing some of us are rpns that are rn some of us just want to be rpns so i feel like that would be an interesting video just to hear and see because I remember when I was like doing nursing I was surrounded around friends that were nurses my sister was a nurse so that kind of helped me and guided me a little so if you guys want to hear that or see that video let me know down below um, don't think I'm going further with this video because obviously this sit down and talk already dragged it out but 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As you guys can see, the basement is moving along. It's slowly coming together. It's just kind of hard to do it all in one shot or like a shorter span of time, I should say, because everyone's just working and like doing stuff. So happy to see the progress though. It's nice to, like when I'm editing the back of the videos and I'm seeing the progress, I was like, holy, like when I think back when we first got this house, like I need to find the video when we first got this house. Like we had green carpets. Was it green? It wasn't green carpets. We had these ugly carpets on the stairs. But anyways, I'm gonna have to find that video and, in, and insert just like put little clips of like before and afters of stuff we've done because it's come a long way. It really has come a long way. Mm. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as per usual because you guys so as per usual and I'll see you guys in the next video.